Today we're going to talk about how to find milkweed and how to search that milkweed and collect your own monarch eggs. Whenever I tell anyone that I'm an entomologist and I like to study bugs for a living, the first question is always, oh, what made you like bugs? And I always tell people that it was rearing monarchs when I was a little kid that really inspired my interest, truly lifelong interest in nature and in insects. Monarchs are one of the most recognizable butterflies that we have. They're really great to rear for kids because it's so easy to find eggs, to find the, the food and to, to rear them inside and to get to kind of experience that marvelous transformation from egg um, to an adult butterfly that you can actually release. The first step to rearing monarchs is finding the eggs. Monarchs lay their eggs on milkweed. I usually search on common milkweed just because that occurs all over the country. It's in parks, it's in yards, um, kind of anywhere where you see tall grass that's not being mowed very frequently, you'll find milkweed. So you can take that milkweed and you just search um, underneath the leaves and the top whorl of leaves for that little cream colored egg. And then you can just take that leaf pull it off the milkweed, put it in a container or something so it doesn't get crushed, and bring that home. Um, I tend to prefer to collect eggs or very, very small caterpillars just to avoid caterpillars that have been parasitized. If you collect a larger caterpillar, there is a chance that a fly will have laid an egg on that caterpillar and that fly's maggot or the fly larva will be inside the caterpillar feeding and then at some point those maggots emerge. As a kid I found that a little traumatizing because I really liked the caterpillars so it's fine just kind of be braced for it or explain to your kids that that could occur. Rearing monarchs is a great thing to do with your kids. It's really not a ton of work. Um, the caterpillar really knows what to do. So all you're really doing is giving it fresh food every day. So as long as you have milkweeds nearby or a nice neighbor who'll let you take their milkweeds, feed them every day, keep that cage um, relatively clean. It will transform from an egg to a butterfly before your eyes. The big thing is it helps me determine kind of how much milkweed I need to put in. Those caterpillars grow a lot from the tiny eggs to the big fifth instars. And if you've got them mixed together, you're going to have the big caterpillars eating all the food before the little ones even get a chance.